and when it came to actually thinking about the space for parking we looked at a permeable solution which means that when it rains water will go straight down into the soil and then be taken up again by the, the trees and vegetation around the garden. So this is a perfect time of year to start planning ahead with your front garden. Give us your top tips to create an environmentally friendly front garden. I would say first off you really need to think about it not as a parking space but as a garden where you're going to put a car. I would start with what separates you from the road so I'd put in a hedge and that will do all sorts of things it will bring in wildlife and it will also help to screen pollutants from the street. My number two would be to think about wherever you possibly can putting in some planting and taking out hard surfaces. The way that we did that was we created um, a honeycomb system so it's a, a system of plastic grids into which you can put or well, in this case we put gravel and they're sturdy enough to take the weight of cars driving over the top of them so they'll bear the weight of vehicles. Carol, I love this honeycomb system that you've used here and what I really like about it is that it actually contains the gravel so it stops the gravel from moving around too much. Are there other materials that can be combined that could kind of do the same job? Well you could use any type of aggregate as long as it's not too tiny and doesn't get squashed down into the honeycomb system. Alternatively you can actually put soil and seed into the system as well so it can become like a living surface, like a living carpet as it were, as long as you don't have too much heavy traffic over it. There are also other options that you can use for permeable or porous paving. So there are pavers that are designed so that uh, when you lay them next to each other, there are actually gaps which allow the water to go down into the soil. What is the importance behind that? What should people be taking away with them about that? Well, there are various things. One is that it's cooling the gardens. It's also not flowing out into the street. And there's a big problem, especially in cities, with flooding of drains when it rains. And that's because we have so so much hard surface and the water just goes straight out into the streets.